Hey everybody, welcome back. So you can see we're spinning around, but man, I look really dirty today because I've been outside a lot off camera. But uh, yeah, you can see we're in the traffic shed, and the reason for that is I know it's Pine Grove cooking Thursdays, but the thing is, is last time I had grease, and all the times I've tried to use this burner, the wind tipped the pan, caught everything on fire. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook it in here, have this door wide open, and I'm going to cook it right on the porch, on the step right here. It's the porch and the floor combined together. So it's pretty much, I have to do it in here because if not, it's just going to tip over and the wind's not going to let us cook it. So I'll show you what we're cooking in a second. And uh, yeah, it's it's okay. I mean, it's just a burner for like a mountain hole, 10 minutes maybe. And there's so many holes and cracks completely open on the sides in here so I'm just gonna crack this door open a good foot put the burner right by the door where the air is gonna be coming in and we're gonna cook our bacon lettuce and tomato sandwich so well there's no tomato except there's cheese so no tomato and then there's cheese but yeah so I'll see you on the ground here I'm gonna set everything up so it's all safe and uh, yeah I could easily just throw it out if it catches on fire and uh, yeah it would be fine so see you on the ground Okay guys, so I know it looks a little weird, it's because there's a, sh there's poles around the porch here and the wind coming down on them is making all these little shadows here. So, pretty much, I'm inside the building, squatting down, and right here's the doorstep and right here's our little, I don't know, four foot porch, out, and that goes straight to the grass, so if anything happens, just throw the pan there. So, it's not in the building, but I'm going to be in the building. So, uh... <laughs> Every time my car goes by, I have to cover it because since it's been warm out today, let me take this key off. Since it's been warm out today, it's been literally, car just went by, it's been all the dust on the road. Anytime a car goes by, it all comes in. So I'm going to try to protect my sandwich, but we just got a fork here. Let me put that back in the bag for now. Actually, no, I have to have that out. I got tin foil around it. Uh, we got our bun, I'm trying to save them plastic and stuff, so I wrapped this all in the same little piece. It's a meatball bun, and a lettuce, and a piece of provolone cheese. So, I was going to bring a whole piece of bread down, but I'm kind of on a diet, so I kind of have to substitute this in for dinner. But, um, yeah, <laughs> you can see it's really weird how this is with the shadow and everything, but we're going to make it work. So... Pretty much I brought down a frying pan, as you can see here, a full size one, and then I brought down a plate to put our food on, and I brought some butter and a little container here. I know this isn't in the pine grove, but I think the pine grove would be set ablaze if I did this in here. So, you know, oh, on, and I'm so jumbled up right now. On the MRE, I ordered it about a week ago, and the guy still has not sent it from his house. So... It's probably going to be the next Pine Grove Cooking Thursday that you'll see it, the MRE. I bought the beef taco one, but it just, uh, he hasn't sent it out yet. So, I kind of just relying on whoever the seller is to get that sent to me. But, I'm going to pull out our little burner here, and we got our matches. So that's what we're doing today, is we're doing a bacon lettuce and cheese sandwich on a toasted bun and uh, we got our little burner here so I'm gonna get this set up really quick put this together and uh, figure out a better way to do this so I make sure it doesn't tip over and I'll see you there. Okay guys so it's pretty funny <laughs> you can see me sitting here in the door here let me move this so you don't have to see too much of me kind of see a lot of the food going on here but I can't get rid of that shadow here I can't get rid of it it's impossible so I know I didn't put it together, but what I did was I grabbed a bag of corn. I'm sitting on it right now, so I need a chair. So I can steadily cook this and hold the pan at the same time. So I want to make sure I don't tip this or anything. So we're going to put our canister together here. Once again, it is outside. It's just on a porch. So let's get this together. Make sure the burner's off always on these. Because I noticed the burner doesn't like uh, turn it off that good. So... We're going to do the first couple of minutes here, just putting the bacon on and stuff. Just for the fact of, I don't want to make you sit here and watch me do bacon for the whole video. So, I'll do the food in parts. So, we'll do the bacon first, but 
Like you can see a car's coming by now. Just from that car, there's gonna be a dust storm coming through. So here we go. Get our matches out. Make sure this is right there, super steady. Not gonna move from there, guaranteed. So let's get a match. Out of our little match pocket here. Now these are the weatherproof or whatever waterproof. I'll have to do a test video on these sometime. The stormproof matches. Waterproof and everything. I'll have to do a review on them. Put this in here really quick. And we're going to turn this on. You can hear me blowing that out of my face. That one did a lot of smoke. Jeez. Let's turn this up. Guys, that literally... Get that smoke out of here. <laughs> it's the worst smelling smoke too is match smoke. It uh... Well, besides cigarette smoke, but... Dang. <laughs> Got right in my face too. Alright, here we go. Let's just hope this works. I mean, that's all we can do. Put this on here. Now see with this, I have to hold this the whole time. I, I can't let this go. Unfortunately, I mean, I'd like to do it otherwise, but unfortunately I'm not going to be able to let this go the whole time. Just for safety, because you know, this thing is so tipsy, and with the last episode it doesn't work that good. So we're going to do this. This is going to be a pretty long episode, I think, since we're not just boiling water. I figured I'd do this, you know, because... The MRE is supposed to be here, but it just never showed up yet, so we're going to put butter on, just to help this cook better. I know there's a lot of bacon fat, because these pieces are really fatty, but here we go. So we're going to do this butter in here. I know this part's in the shadow, but best I can do, get this butter going around. I got to hold this the whole time, I cannot let go. At least for the bacon part. The other parts don't really matter, but the bacon, I could start a grease fire, so. Somehow there's a cat all the way down here with me. Okay. So I gotta hold this the whole time I do this. Now this is baked, uh, maple, maple bacon. <laughs> Ooh. It smells like, uh, it smells like maple syrup down here now because of this. I gotta try to get this to evenly spread on here. Because it doesn't want to. This piece really sticking. It's letting go. Come on, let go. I might just have to like scramble this. I don't know, it's not working out. I know for sure though I'm not touching this. That's for sure. It's already bubbling hot. Let me try to. Does that work a little better? Okay, that works better. Perfect. So you can see the bacon now it's cooking. It's uh, really fatty. Uh, this might run out of propane actually and I'll have to go get some more but let's try to at least get the bacon done in here here's the burner there I just turned it up a lot so I'm gonna get this to cook in and when it's almost done uh, I'll get back with you so all I smell is maple and butter which is not good for my diet but at least this is gonna be my dinner so yeah I'm gonna turn you guys off on the camera and I'll see you when this bacon's almost done. Okay guys, so I just took off two pieces of bacon. Uh, you can see they're still frying in here. So I see that. But uh, all I smell down here is maple. So we're about ready to take these off. 
I took two off already, like I just said. They're kind of burnt, but that's how I like them. Well, they're not really that burnt, I wouldn't say. I think it's just because of all the fat. But this piece, I'd say those are done. Because bacon continues to fry a bit after you take it out because of the hot fat. So um, I'm going to turn this down. And really quick here, I'm going to cut it out. I'm going to pour this grease out. Hey guys, I'm sitting back down now. But what we're going to do is we're going to let our bacon sit there. You can kind of see it there. Right there in that little shadow. I'll put it here for you so you can see it better. And we're going to put our pan here. And we're going to take our lettuce and stuff and set that on the tray with the bacon. Piece of cheese got hair on it. Where we're going to get our little meatball sub here, our meatball bun. We're going to open it up. Watch this. Ready? Can't really see. Sorry for that. I didn't notice that until a second ago. But here we go. We got our open faced meatball sub. Place that down on the pan. Now I completely dumped all the grease out. There's just some in here on the bottom left. And I'm going to press it down with my fingers. Be careful if you're doing this. Put that bun down. I'm definitely not having dinner after this because I'm really on a diet. So, okay, now all we're going to do is see that bun there? How nice and toasty. We're going to set the other side back down. Let that toast for a minute and then we'll assemble our sandwich. So looking tasty. It's looking really tasty guys. Mm -mm -mm. So I'm going to turn this off. And actually what I'm going to do is uh, I might do like a cook some s'mores on that one night. It's almost out of propane slash the butane mix. And I'm going to have to get rid of the rest of it soon because it's not enough for another video. So you know, we'll do some marshmallows on it or something, but got our nice toasted bun here. We got our nice bacon and our bun. And what are we going to do with that? We're going to assemble a sandwich down here. So here we go. The sun keeps moving pretty fast, so put our bacon over here. This side of the plate. We're going to grab out our nice toasted meatball sub bun we're gonna set that down there put our fork in this pan for a second and we're gonna get our bacon and we're gonna place them nice little pieces of crisp bacon right on our little sandwich here make ourselves a BLT well bacon lettuce cheese BLC <laughs> but here we go look how crunchy that looks guys looks delicious mm -mm -mm. so I'd say that's a pretty good episode right there we successfully cooked bacon without a grease fire I don't recommend doing that to any of you guys at home there's a lot of little hairs on the cheese now throw some of that cheese over there somehow but oh well, I don't care. Put that cheese over top of this nice little bun. Get some our our lettuce here. Place that on top. I like lettuce, so I'm gonna put quite a bit on there. Cheese doesn't have to be melted for me. I'd rather have it not too too melted. But throw the rest of our lettuce over there. And here we go, guys. That is our completed bacon, lettuce, cheese, and tomato. Or not tomato, just bacon, lettuce, cheese. So here we go. Let's go over to the four-wheeler, and we're going to eat it on the seat because it's a lot brighter over there, and it's not shadowy. So see you over there in a second. Okay, guys, so I call that a video well done. You can see we're on the four-wheeler here down at the trapping shed. Look at that sandwich. Boy, is that perfect. So before it gets cold and all that. Wipe my hands off. I never really touched the bacon when it was raw, so I'm good. But, uh, we take a nice bite of this, so. Man. Okay, well. A lot of hair on this cheese from bringing it down, but 
Here we go. We're going to take a bite of this. See how it tastes. Mmm. That bacon's delicious. Bacon sticking outside of that. Sorry if I'm loud at eating. I had to really munch on that because I had so much lettuce in that bite. But look at that. Take a bite of that bacon there. Oh, wow. That's delicious. That bacon could not taste any better. I know I really mangled this thing now from holding it, but... Mmm. Delicious. It's really quiet out now, so it's kind of awkward eating this. This probably sounds really loud, but... Look at that. Perfect. Okay, everybody, so I know I look just as dirty as in the beginning of the video, but hands down, I, I just ate the whole thing. I just sat down here for like 20 minutes and ate the whole thing. But, uh, yeah, it's like spring out now, so it's even better. You can see right there is where we usually do our Pine Grove Cooking Thursdays. But right here, traffic shed is where we did it today, so it's, it's right there, but I could have possibly done a grease fire in the woods. I don't know what that's happening. And I wanted to cook something fresh for, uh, for this week, so bacon, lettuce, and cheese on a toasted bun. Down here, honestly, guys, this is the best thing I've ever ate in my life. I'm not even kidding. I'm not saying that. Originally, my favorite thing to eat was a gyro, but maple bacon on a sandwich is the best thing I've ever had in my life. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. And I made it, so I'm like super surprised that it even tastes good since I made it, so. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. You can see there's the power line there. There's tons of, um, tons of birds, but what are they called? I, I always remember them. Red winged blackbird. It's like one of my favorite birds. And it's lined with them right now, making noises. So, hope you enjoyed. And, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Uh, I might be looking for some fossils next time because I found a trilobite in my driveway. Not clickbait. <laughs> so, see you in the next video, guys. Thanks for watching.